and she gets so hot headed that she doesn't re recollect what she's saying. And then I'm sitting in Tea Times Live today and she's like, I said that therapist is a holistic doctor, a holistic therapist. And so that's why she knows how to manipulate. She ain't say nothing about holistic yesterday when I was there. Yeah, it, it got, and I'm a loud talker naturally, but I am not a person that wants to like call you out your names. Um, I will hit you. Let me tell you, I will just tell the truth on you. And your truth is so awful that I don't have to make up anything about you. And that's the difference between a lot of them and me is my truth is so wonderful that they have to make up lies. Because let's be clear. What could you say? I got, I put my accolades and what I've done in my lifetime up here and it ain't made up. Your reality is far worse than any lie I can tell on you. She screams and yells. It's like a, a, a banshee. And I'm loud. So I, I'm never one to tell somebody to tone police anybody or tell somebody about how they can speak. Because I'm a loud talker myself. But if, if every time you go in any space and anybody has any disagreement with you and that is, the, that is the conclusion of every interaction, then you are the problem. Like I haven't never seen her get in a space where you can, you, where you can, you can ever, she's, she never, she never resolves anything. If you send me an exile on Tuesday, I mean, I've never seen her go into space and actually heal anything. Is that only me? But I, I just find her to be an agent of chaos. I'm not going to hold you. She just screams and yells and screams and yells and over talks and And the only thing she's upset with, please gift the live, tap the screen. I do have a gift goal today because I have not been on live for a couple of days. They've been attacking my account. You know how this goes. Um, now, I don't always agree with Nosy, but she was so loud and wrong. Agent of chaos for sure. Yes. Now, you know me and, and you know how I feel about Nosy bystander. I think she's also an agent of chaos in some aspects. But I also understand how her mind works we're very similar with intellects and so nosy was just saying to her that she needs to present the evidence in order and not only just say this has happened here this has happened here this has happened here you understand what i'm saying there is a huge difference between um you saying this has been my experience on 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 July 24th I was followed in such and such live at this certain time and here's the proof what's up Edwin that you're the first person that calls me hey fixer um and I just calls me right but um or she would say on July 15th at such and such time I was followed into this live here's the proof she has yet to do that, and that's what Nosy was saying to her. But she is so busy screaming and rage farming and just demit like so crazed that you you can't. You can't. You can't get a word in edgewise to even um like to get an understanding with her. And I noticed that every conversation that she has a disagreement in, it always ends brutally. I don't ever see her resolving anything. She just cussed that lady out, laugh, cause laugh made a joke. And it went ape shit. Exactly. And I, I just thought like, okay, um, T time says she witnessed her going from live to live. The, the funny thing is this, this type of space is so small that you 90, 90% of the time will end up in a space with people you do not care for. Can we agree to that? I'm 
constantly in spaces with people I do not agree with, that I might have some, like, you know, we have some issues. I know how to be in those spaces and not say shit to those people unless they say something to me. But it almost seems like what Rosé wants out of therapists is just not to be in any space that she's in. Then my suggestion to you, Rosé, is to be in your own space and block her. Because it, it just, it seems like anything that therapist does is an attack on her. Oh, she wasn't alive gifting everybody else but me. Why would I gift you and I don't like you? And then because she's there, now she is she is stalking her. And I'm so tired of people using these words, stalking, abuse, narcissistic, what else? Grooming. All these very outspoken people, all of a sudden are these like victims in every situation. It's, it's, it's mind boggling to me. You don't cuss me out because I didn't agree with you, Rosé, for no damn reason. All I said is that's not what I witnessed in Diamond's Live. This is what I witnessed you doing. Then you wanted to, then you wanted to do semantics. Well, I didn't say exactly that. No, you didn't say exactly that, but I'm pretty much summing it up for you. And you understand what that means. I can't remember verbatim what you said, but what you said is this. I don't give a fuck that your mother died. That's what you said. You said also that her eyes were shaky before she even got in the box. That's not exactly what I said. Oh, we're doing semantics. I'm way smarter than you, honey. I've been doing this for a very, very long time. That's why I can't engage with people who are going to try to pigeonhole every single word you said. Because if you didn't say exactly what the exact words that they said, then you're lying on them. No. That's what you said. You said those horrible things to that woman. And then you played victim afterwards. And personally, me, I think they tit for tat. Like, she'll do something to her, and then she'll do something to her. But why do we even need to know about it? Y'all the one who brought your business on the internet with the dirty towels and dog hair and all of that craziness. We wouldn't even know about your situation had you not included us in it. And honestly, when I heard the dog towel story and you wiping your whole body with a whole roll of tissue, toilet tissue and all of this craziness, when you're a grown ass woman in someone's home that you trusted enough to go and stay at, all you had to do was ask for another fucking towel. Hey, boo, this towel dirty. Can I get another one? Because baby, let me tell you something, sweetheart. If I'm comfortable enough to lay my head in your home, then I'm also going to be comfortable enough to ask you to get me another towel. Else I ain't coming to lay my head. I mean, I mean, come on, let's make sense of it. And that's, you know, I'm like, so you don't, so you don't feel safe enough to ask this woman for a towel, but you spending the night at her house? I'm calling Cap. It wasn't that interesting to me, so I never held a live about it. I'm sorry, I just it just wasn't interesting to me. I'm like, this is some type of lover's quarrel that them brought on the internet and got us all involved in a business. I think that's very immature. So I never got involved with it. What's up, Coco?
I mean, am I the only one that's clocking this or am I, it, it just, I don't know. I just feel like I'm pretty, no, I didn't. And that's why I didn't feel like I needed to discuss it, to be quite honest. Um, I'm a very observant person. Most people's lives I be in, you won't even know I'm there. I just sit and I listen. Assess, address, and resolve. I don't have to always be the voice in the room. I ha I don't hardly get on people's platforms. I, I like to be in the comments, just talking and laughing. Because I host my own lives. Every now and then I will go in Tea Time Live and just chit-chat with her. And, and, you know, she was going through a hard time with, you know, calling CPS on her and everything. And I honestly just wanted to be a black woman who was supporting her. And they turned that into something more than it is. We have to learn to support black women in the best way we possibly can. And sometimes that just means going into their space and sitting and laughing a little with them. What's up, Marie? That's what I've learned. I don't, I'm, I, you don't have to gift me every time I go in there. I don't have to be in the gift battles. I don't like, I go in there specifically sometimes to encourage her. Because I know what it is to have people attacking you for no damn reason. And let me tell you, anybody and everybody that's ever attacked me on this app is suffering in real time. Because I can promise you, I don't go and mess with nobody. I mind my business. I talk what I talk on my space and I keep it moving. I don't have to agree with you. I don't have to have your take. I think that's why you have your own space. so You can give your own take for everything and you don't have to be in somebody else's space arguing with them. But it seems like the art of communication is gone. It's obsolete. Oh, by the way, the box is open. Like you can't even say you don't agree because then it's an attack on them and their humanity. It's like, I don't agree with you, but that doesn't make me your enemy now. I just don't agree with your take on this. But now we don't have to now sit here and argue for the next however many minutes because I don't agree with you and you don't agree with me. We can actually just move forward. Look what they're doing to the real Don. Which I had a little issue with the real Don because she automatically took nosy side without hearing all sides and chapters of our situation. And I seen her in a live saying some stuff while well, her crew saying some stuff about me that was totally untrue. And I uh, and I and I addressed nosy about that. But to be fair, that woman should be allowed to block. And not speak to whomever she doesn't want to speak to. Why is that a problem? <clears throat> Y'all bringing up stuff that she said months ago. Now y'all want to have her have beef with um, Black Don. Why? What is the goal? I don't get it. Why do you... Like everything must turn into this, this chaotic beef that lasts for months and months. It's weird. Oh, you said this about Dom in March. It's in July. Why are we still talking about that? And it's like nobody can recover from any wrongdoings. What's up, Bella Bella? For, from any wrongdoings. And it's sickening after a while. I remember when people came to me about Bella. And I chose to stand with Bella. Did I agree with everything? No, I don't have to. But what I do agree is with is this. She has apologized so many times and it was never good enough. She has taken accountability. She has even shown remorse. What more can she do? Y'all want blood? Y'all want punishment? That is my, that's my take on it. And breaking, I think you are 
I think that Bray King, you're about to find out what world you in. Because right now it's glitz and glamour. They all coming in your space and you getting all these likes, clicks, and views. You getting your following up. Everything glittering ain't gold. I will say that. I know, Bella, but you see me in there defending you. I went in there and I spoke up on your behalf and I was booted out the live. I think I was booted, and that's what I told Bray King. You booted me out the lot. Oh, I was just rotating. Nah, you was letting people stay in there who was dog palling on her that day. But I was up there to defend her, and then I was booted out. And I'm and, and that's the thing about me, and I think that's the personality of a Gemini in a nutshell. We are very analytical people. I'm a critical thinker. And if it doesn't add up, I must start to subtract. And so some shit doesn't add up to me. What's up, boom? I know it's Bella's friend. And I'm not, I'm not, I'm, I'm, I'm going to say what I have to say. Just like everybody says what they have to say in their space. It's my space. Me and him is not mutuals. We don't, we not following each other or anything. And I still, I'm still going to say what I have to say, to be quite honest. It doesn't even matter. Shit. And you know what I recognize is that me being the type of personality that I am, is that I stand on truth. I'm not going to be everybody's cup of tea because I'm the type of person that will call you out if you're wrong, even if you're my friend. Now, will I do it? In um in public, if I'm consider if you consider me your friend, no. But if you put me in a lie and you asking me to lie or you're lying while I'm present, oh, I'm gonna say that that's a lie. And I felt like that's what happened in T Times Live. T already knew I didn't agree with her theory. I told her I was in the live and Rose was up there lying. Or misspeaking, whatever you want to call it. And I addressed it. And she got hella upset. And she's never wrong. Did you notice that Rosé is never wrong even when she does some dumb shit? Then she weaponizes her age. Oh, I'm 26, y'all old enough to be my mother. But you did some effed up stuff and people are calling you out. What's up, Virgo? People are calling you out for it. Like when Bella said to her, I blocked $2. And then you didn't block her. Then you unblocked her. So then I removed you. And somehow, Rosé was right. Let me tell you something, baby. If I block somebody in my life that has been, me and them has had vitriolic, and vitriolic is my word, by the way, um, a vitriolic interaction over and over again, and I decide to block them, and one of my mods come in here and unblock them to benefit themselves, we are going to have a problem, and you will be removed as a mod, and I'm going to block you. Because now you are opposition. You are the ops. And I can no longer trust you. But somehow, Rosé turned that into, well, she was talking about her, and I felt like it's only fair for her to be able to defend herself, so that's why I unblocked her. That is not your call in somebody else's space. That's not your call in somebody else's space. But nobody was brave enough to say that. And Bella, I'm going to tell you, me and you don't ever talk. I hit you up a few times in the midst of all of this. You never returning my calls, and I'm fine with that. But sometimes, Bella, we attach ourselves to people that we think are good to us, and you're going to find out that the people you attach yourself to are going to um, do what the others have done. I have no horse in this race, but I defend you even when there is no benefit for me. We're not friends. I don't, I'm not like talking to you. I don't come in your lives. I'm not any, you know what I'm saying? I do it because it's the right thing to do. It's not a money grab for me. And I think you're going to end up in the same predicament you was in. Just you keep on being in because you trust the wrong people. I don't think you instantly 
I don't know if you watch people's movement instead of what they say. I think you're watching what they say and not what they do. I didn't like how um, you were dogged out. And I said that to uh, Bray King. I did not like that. I had to remove myself from everyone because of how bad things got. Yeah. I mean, I'm being accused of a, uh, of planning to essay someone by somebody who made that shit up with Kappa and them. And Trina yelled that out in the live. And, 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 and that's okay. No proof, no evidence, nothing. Just hearsay made up by some woman who doesn't like me. And then let's talk about the difference between talking about somebody's children and talking about the way someone parents their children. That is a total lie. And I'm pursuing that legally so they know I can't get into it. Because there are several people on that docket. But me saying to Trina that you're an awful parent, that you have your child from pillar to post, is not me talking about the child. I'm talking about Trina, who is her parent, who is moving her from pillar to post. I'm talking about the fact that you are you are in an environment where somebody pulled out a pew pew and is in danger. Your child is in danger. That's my opinion as a mother and as a, as a worker, as someone who is federally cleared and state cleared. Right, stop talking about her kid. Honey, I don't care how much you scream and your blood vessels pop out your head, rosé, and you try to threaten me with your big, thick voice. I'm not talking about her child. I'm talking about her parenting. And I'm going to talk about her parenting because she displays her child, her type, her style of parenting to all of us. And it's disgraceful in my opinion. Don't tell me it's okay for a child to be living one place here. Um, next couple of months she living here. Next couple of months she's living here. Your mother is being, uh, a pew pew is being put in your mother's face. Now CPS is coming to the house. That's not a healthy environment for a child. And that's your mothering. That is not talking about the child. I'm not talking about what the child looks like. Her grades, her appearance, her hair, her nails, her clothes, none of that. That would be talking about the child. So let's differentiate the two. But I'm damn sure going to talk about how you parent here up on this internet and what we are witnessing. And then to try to say that somebody from the internet, you said I call CPS on you? You know damn well nobody from the internet called CPS on you. You know that was a follow-up that the police has to do because I checked it out. When you say you claim that somebody pulled out a pew pew, somebody's girlfriend pulled out a pew pew on you because they're jealous of you. And you have your child there. They have to follow up and send CPS or DIFUS or whatever y'all want to call it to the home. But for a money grab, you use a freaking disgraceful situation and you put it on the freaking internet. And you know what? Anybody that's acting like that's a normal thing to be to do to your child, I know why y'all not saying nothing to Trina. Because everybody likes a car crash. You ever been driving and you see a car crash and you can't help but to look? You driving, trying to drive, but you still trying to look at the car crash? You trying to look at the car crash, trash, cra I mean, cra crash. So instead of saying to Trina, you need to get your child in a safe environment, give a, if it's a shelter or not. Stop moving her around, moving her strange men's homes before she be victimized. Y'all try to act like that shit is okay. You know why y'all act like it's okay? It's very simple to me. I can see people who love to see people failing because you make that person makes you feel good about yourself. Y'all feel good, a 
around Trina. You get to make fun of her wearing that same stinking ass bonnet, switching those two shirts, and being a wreck. So when you look at her, you're happy. At least that ain't me. But y'all want to try to say I'm the bad person for calling out her poor parenting. 